So when you were a young child, you used to have tantrums? Yeah, when I was a young child, I'd have tantrums and I'd sort of get into a stage where I'd sort of scr uh, scream and yell and sort of shake as well. And um, when I'd try to leave or something, I'd stub my toe or hit my elbow and my mother would say to me, ha ha, see, the devil got you back from those actions. And yeah. That's just something I'm feeling from that level. Yeah, exactly. These are all messages that our parents give us. And, and in fact, religions also do the same thing. They give us to control us. And unfortunately, they enter us emotionally. So, so this is one reason why you would have some fear about the devil. So even though you might not even believe in a devil here in your mind, the emotion in, as a child will be that the devil got you back every time you were bad. Yeah, and so you have this feeling in you of constantly being on the lookout for the devil sort of thing, getting you back if you were to do a bad thing. So now you suppress the emotions because because you think if you let them out, the devil's going to get you. Yeah, it didn't have to be a living person to do that. Exactly. Yeah, no, no living person is going to punish you, but somebody yeah. from the spirit world will, which for many children is actually scarier. Um, so many many parents go through this pro this uh, this problem of control with their children, and so they come up and they dream up many forms of how to control their children, including like I can see you even when I'm not here. You know, and if they have a spirit with them, that is actually true. So if a, if a parent has a spirit telling them what the child's done, right, then the sp parent could say to the child, I can see you even when you're, I'm not here. You make sure you do the right thing, because if you do the wrong thing, I'll know. And I've had, I've had people that I've met who have had parents like this, who have come back and said, you did this and you did that and you did this, didn't you? And give them a good belt for all the things they did when the parent wasn't even there. But the parent knows they did those things because of a spirit telling them. And, and that just creates this huge terror in this child. Like they, can't, they feel controlled even when the parent's not there. And so there's adult children that are now working through their emotions who feel like their parents, who are now 70 or 80, are still controlling them because of this emotion in them. So these are really damaging emotions to work through.